we've been waiting a while to uh, get together and just uh, talk about some things, yes. right? Yes. Uh, we want to just send a shout out to uh, Tammy Lilly. She's not able to uh, make it into the studio today, which is all good. We're going to keep it moving and hope that this show be, we just go on her with it. How about that? Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, Keisha. Let's get into it. I am Keisha Roberson. Glad to be here today. Um, look forward to every Wednesday getting together with my sisters, but now I can see everybody. Right. Yes. yes. So, pretty good. All right, all right, Rita. Hi, I'm Rita. <laughs> <laughs> I am Rita Nelson. It's good to be in the room with everyone this morning. Um, I am the founder of Royal Tees, it's the Christian based shirt line, inspirational shirt line, as well as Precious Moments. Photography and designs, and um, you can find me on Facebook as Rita Nelson. Welcome to the show this morning. All right, all right, all right. All right go ahead. Hello, y'all. It's so true. Yes, I say it all the time. I am her. She is me, and yes, I am everything. Yes. You know, I have to love myself, <laughs> so therefore I tell y'all to love y'allself. Thank y'all for tuning in today. We're gonna have some hot topics, and like you said. I'm so glad I'm able to put the face with the names. That's yes. right. That's right. Now, one thing I wanted us to do is just, uh, we have been talking about our business, everything that we do. We do a lot. We wear many, 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 many hats. hats. Yes. You know, uh, not to me. Now, I heard really talking about a topic last week about these men saying that we got attitudes because uh, when uh, Aunt Flo is in town, we definitely, I want to, I got something to say on that one right there. Because a lot of y'all men around here running your mouth about these attitudes. I believe that y'all, uh, aunt, uh, uh, uncle, uh, Herbert come in town <laughs> every month. You got an attitude, uh, every month as well. Mm -hmm. As well. You know. I agree. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so don't be tripping, you know, because we're going to get on that today. Now, I want to get on into these topics. Let's start with Keisha. Keisha, what you got for us today? Wait, let's say something to Tammy. Hey, Tammy, what's going on? Hey, Tammy. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Wish I could have made it with y'all, but I'll be there next time. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, so. Yes, I am. <clears throat> so our topic, uh, Keisha's about to share our topic. Let's go. I want to talk today about church hurt. Oh, Lord. Church hurt. So, there are so many dynamics of it, but um, we as believers, mm -hmm. okay, we have to watch ourselves. Um, everybody coming into the church wasn't born and bred in the church. Mm -hmm. Some of people, some people are just um, stopping in to see what's going on or whatever, so we have to be on our best behavior and meet people where they are. Right. Okay. Um, all too often, somebody new comes into the church and maybe they have on a little bitty short dress. Mm. Maybe that's all they have. Amen. Okay. Um, delivery is everything. So, would they be, be more susceptible to changing? If you grab them to the side and go, hey, your dress is too short, you can't come in here like that. Or... You know, would it just be hello, how you doing? And then they see you maybe with a maxi skirt or a maxi dress on or whatever. You just kind of embrace that person and then they change. Mm. You know, that's one thing. And, and this subject came up because I talked to people before, but I was talking to somebody who said she probably would never step foot in the church again. You know, God wants um, believers to come together and be together, you know, whatever. And we, we the church is a building. We go to a building church, but church is in us. So.